Hello everyone and welcome to another video with Mathematics with Marlene. Today we'll be multiplying three digit numbers by two digit numbers and also four digit numbers by two digit numbers. If you want to see two digit numbers multiplied by two digit numbers, I already made a video about that and I will link it in the cards above and in the description box below and you can go and check that out. So let's get started. Now before we can start multiplying, we need to go and write this in the correct format. We need to go and write them underneath each other. So first we have 231 and then underneath 231 we have 24. Now always remember to write it neatly. Your ones should be underneath each other and also your tens. And now that they are neatly underneath each other, now you can write your multiplication and your two lines. Make sure your lines are two spaces apart, you will now see why. So when we start, we take the bottom number, in this case 24, and we split that number. We are separately going to multiply with 4 and 20. First, you're going to multiply the 4 with the 231 and you'll write that answer directly underneath the line. Next, you will multiply the 20 with the 231 and you'll write that answer directly below the first answer you got. So now you've multiplied 4 by 231 and you've multiplied 20 by 231. All you have to do now is add those two answers together to get your final answer. So let's do this example together. First, we're going to multiply with the 4. So 4 times 231. So we start with the 1s. 1 times 4 is 4. And next, you're going to multiply the 4 with the 3. So 3 times 4 is 12. So you write down your 2, but you need to carry over the 1. And lastly, you're going to multiply the 4 with the 2. So 2 times 4 is 8. But remember, you carried over that 1. So 8 plus 1 is 9. So 4 times 231 is 924. And now we're going to multiply the 20 with the 231. But before we do that, there's two things I want you to remember. First of all, we already multiplied with the 4. We need to cancel that 1 that we wrote above the 2 because we are finished with that 1. And then the next thing I want you to remember is that we are multiplying with 20 and not with 2. So 20 is in the tenth place value, so it's 20 and not 2. That is why before we start multiplying the digits, we are first going to write a 0 in the answer line. So that's to make sure that our answer is going to be 20 times 231 and not 2 times 231. So now that we've written down the 0, we can simply multiply the digits. So 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 times 2 is 4. So now you see why it's so important that you wrote down that 0 before you started multiplying the digits, because 20 times 231 is 4620. We just need to add those two answers together. So let's start at the ones like we would do a normal addition sum. So 4 plus 0 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, 9 plus 6 is 15, so you write down the 5, but you take the 1 over, and 4 plus that 1 is 5. So 231 times 24 is 5,000. 544. 
Now let's move on to a four digit number times a two digit number. If you feel like you need to go and practice a three digit number times a two digit number some more, I will have a worksheet with a memo in the description box below. You can just click on the link and go and download it and go and practice this some more. But now let's move on. So here we have a four digit number times a two digit number. So 2,374 times 32. So the first thing we do is we write them neatly underneath each other so that your ones are directly underneath each other and also your tens. And then your multiplication with your two lines. And just by looking at this, it can seem very intimidating, but you just do it one step at a time and you will get your final answer. So the first thing you do is you split that 32. So we're first multiplying with two and then we're multiplying with 30. So two times 2,374. So first we multiply the ones. So four times two is eight. Next, seven times two is 14. Remember you write down the four, but you carry over the one and you write it there. So next we have three times two and three times two is six. But remember we carried over that one. So we still need to add that one. So six plus one is seven. And now we multiply the last two digits. Two times two is four. So now we move on to the 30. We already multiplied with the two. Now we multiply with the 30. So 30 times 2,374. And remember that we already worked with that one. So we need to make sure we cancel that one so we don't get confused and use it again. And now the second thing you probably already remember is that we need to write our zero in the answer line because we are multiplying by 30 and not just by three. So now that we're done with that, we can just start multiplying our digits. So first, three times four is 12. So you write down your two, you carry over that one. Next is seven times three. 7 times 3 is 21, but remember you carried over that one, so you still need to add it. So 21 plus 1 is 22. So you write down your 2 for 22, but you still need to carry over that 2. Next, we have 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, but remember that 2. So 9 plus 2 is 11. So you write down the 1, you carry over the 1. And now lastly, two times three is six plus that one is seven. So now you have the answer for two times 2,374 and you have the answer for 30 times 2,374. So all you need to do now is add those two together to get your final answer. So let's start at the ones. Eight plus zero is eight. 4 plus 2 is 6, 7 plus 2 is 9, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 7, it's only 7, so you write down the 7. So your answer for 2,374 times 32 is 75,968. And there will also be a worksheet with a memo if you want to go and practice 4-digit numbers times 2-digit numbers. So remember the worksheets with the memos in the description box below and I also included notes if you want to go and recap this video and if you haven't already and this was helpful to you please remember to give this video a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel and then I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.